Let's look at the effect of temperature on a chemical reaction. Now, we know intuitively if you raise the temperature, chemical reactions proceed more rapidly. The reason is that at higher temperature, there are more molecules that have energies in excess of the activation energy for the chemical reaction, so they can get over the barrier that separates products and reactants. We can see that if we plot out a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution, that is, the number of molecules with a given speed, a given kinetic energy in the system. If you plot as well the activation energy, then you can see for a given chemical reaction with a given activation energy at a specific temperature described by this Maxwell-Boltzmann curve, there's a fraction of molecules that have energies in excess of the activation energy. Now, that doesn't mean all those molecules will react. They still have to collide and collide with the appropriate orientation. So there's other factors involved, but the potential for the chemical reaction to go depends upon these particles with energies in excess of the activation energy. If you go to a higher temperature, this is a low temperature plotted here in blue, here's a higher temperature plotted in red, you can see the activation energy isn't a function of temperature, but the number of particles that have energy in excess of the activation energy is a function of temperature. So now I have a higher percentage of molecules with energies in excess of the activation energy. So why do reactions go faster with the increasing temperature? More molecules, more particles with higher energies. Now if you think about kinetics, our kinetic rate laws look like the rate is the rate constant times some function of the concentrations. Now the concentrations are not a function of temperature. So for rates to increase with temperature, our rate constants must be a function of temperature. So if you plot the rate constant versus temperature, what you find is they have a functional form. Those increase with temperature. And that functional form is given by, by this. The rate constant is a constant times the exponential of the activation energy minus over RT. So rate constants are a function of temperature. And that reflects the number of particles that have activation energies or energies above the activation energy. And of course, I can plot different activation energies. Here's a low activation energy and a high activation energy. In each case, as you increase the temperature, the rate increases because K gets larger. K, the rate constant for the chemical reaction, is a function of temperature.